Hi cellos! Okay, so um, today I'm going to teach you how to tune your cello, um, but it's really important that you have an adult with you for this, okay? Just like I said in the other video, you need to do this with an adult, especially as a cello. It's, it's, um, it's not something I want you to do by yourself, okay? So um, we're going to start with our four strings. So the cello has, the lowest string is a G, a C, it's a C. I was tricking you. The lowest string is a C, um, and we're gonna learn how to tune that C. So you take your app, the Sound Corset app that I told you about, or a similar one. They should all look very, very much the same. There's a needle, and there is a green space in the middle, um, and then a part where it tells you what letter is coming up. So if I pluck this C, I can see that it's a C, which is great, but it is not where I want it to be. It's actually a little past it. So it's the right letter, but it's um, a little too high. So what we're gonna do to fix a tiny difference is down here we have something called a fine tuning peg, okay? These little tiny knobs. So we're going to turn the little knob just a little bit and it will change where the needle is on the sound. Just do it again until it's in the right spot. Great, so now the C is in the, the right spot. Well, it was five seconds ago. Um, good. It's great. And the whole thing goes green when it's in the green, as you can see. So now the next string we have over here, the next string, this one, is a G. So let's check what we've got now. If I play my G, that's actually spot on, which is great. So the next one we've got is a D. That's what it should sound like. So that one's actually also green. Good job. And this top one is an A. So that's not green. So we would use the fine tuner to fix that down here. We just twist it, okay? And you only just do like one or two tiny twists and check again for tiny movements. So if you're doing that and you're only using a little bit each time, it doesn't even matter which direction you turn it in, you'll see, you'll see it going up and down. You can have a play with that. And those ones, so long as you only twist a little bit, are safe to play with, okay? Um, what becomes a problem is if you have a big change. So I'm gonna show you that now. So let's say one of these is out of, really out of tune, like this A, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ruin it right now. So now our A, if we check, is not an A anymore. It's got this symbol next to it, an A flat. So if you see a symbol next to the letter, either this one or one that looks like a hashtag, it means it's a different note. So when it's playing a different note, um, you need to use the big tuners up here. And this is what you need an adult for. Okay, I'm actually going to make it even farther out of tune so I can show you how to fix a big problem. So this one is now playing G, okay? It's actually a perfectly in tune G, but that's no good to us because this tiny string needs to be an A. So we need to think about um, if it's too high or too low. And this one involves listening and thinking. There's no easy answer. So it's a G. So we talked about the music alphabet, okay? So the music alphabet goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. So this is where it gets tricky. Is it too high or is it too low? Because A can come before G, way down here, or it can come above G, up here, right after it. So what you need to use your ears and your, your logic for is, does it sound really, really wrong? Like, do you think it's that far, far distance? So it's actually playing a G, um, a G way too high, or like, does it sound kind of okay, which means it's not that far off, 
So it's probably the one that's not far off. G and A are close to each other up here, which means you just need to go a little bit higher. So just to visually show you that again, you could have your A down here with the G, or you could have your A just above the G here, right? So you've heard the sound. So you just think to yourself, does it sound like it's super far off this much of a space or just kind of close? Which the correct answer is this one. We need to go higher. So to go higher, you find the peg that it is connected to up here, the tuning peg, and you need to turn it up and away from yourself. Up and away is tighter, which makes the string higher, and towards you and down is looser, which makes the sound lower, okay? Um, when you're doing this, you need to be careful because um, it's not, if you have a guitar or ukulele at home, this is different. It has no mechanism to hold it in place and to keep it from just unraveling. So what holds it in place is friction, and this is why this is an adult job. You actually need to push and use a fair amount of force on a cello, actually, to make sure it's it's pushed directly into the instrument, not away, in towards the, towards the center of the instrument to keep it stuck in there, and push up and away at the same time. You need to do this very carefully. It takes quite a bit of force, but you also need to do it only a little bit, because if you go and you just wrench it, you're going to break the string. Okay, so it needs a measured, calm, slow force. So I'm doing this up and away from me. And you can see like I was really, it's quite a lot of force, just very slow. So I'm checking now. It's gone up towards the A, but it has that symbol. It's still not an A. I'm gonna do it a little bit more. And you'd write, it's better to do it slowly and have to do it a bunch of times than to just wrench it and do the wrong thing. So now it's an A. I can use, now that it's in an A, I can use the little ones to fix it the rest of the way. So I'm going to bend down and use the little one. I'm finding that one a bit it's a bit stuck at the bottom which means I've pushed it in kind of as far as it can go so I'm gonna switch to using this one just a little bit so now um, So they're very finicky, as you can see. You're gonna need a little trial and error and a lot of patience. But I do have good news about this. The good news is, there we go, now it's green. So we've got the right notes. We've got C, G, D, A. And I'll do that again so you hear the sounds of it. And the good news is, the more you play your cello, the less you need to tune it. It gets sort of used to being in the right spot, the strings, everything, the whole body gets stretched and put into the right place. Um, so if you're playing and you're using it, you're gonna have to do this less and less, and you're not gonna have to take as long doing it like I just did. This cello is brand new, I just took it out of the storeroom. It hasn't been loved a lot yet, um, meaning it took me a lot longer to tune it. So if you're not using it, or if you're putting it somewhere cold or changing the temperature of it a lot, you're gonna have to do this a lot more. But if you take care of it and you practice, it should get easier and easier. So good luck. <laughs>